Talking about H1B with the employer is very uncomfortable. So, new candidate, are you on H1B? Yes. Can you still hire me? Trump recently changed the H1B policy to make it even more difficult for people who are on H1B to land a job as a product manager. However, it is not too late to get ready and prepare for those H1B changes. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top five strategies to get ready for those H1B changes and land a job as a product manager. Stay until the end of the video where I share with you the top product manager referral jobs. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell button so that you'll be notified every time we we'll upload a new video every Monday. Recently, several of my students land a job as a product manager in fan companies while they own H1B. I'm gonna share with you our top H1B secret in this video. First of all, you need to join the bigger tech company who can pay you a higher salary. According to this new rule, they made this new changes about the minimum salary. Under the new rule, the required wage level for entry level workers rise to 45 percentile to their professions of distribution from the current level of 17 percentile. The requirement for the highest skilled worker will also rise to 95 percentile from the 67 percentile. You see the huge changes of minimum wages. So let me give you some examples regarding how this percentile impact your specific salary number. In this specific table, according to the Department of Labor, we put those salaries into several locations in terms of Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York. And then we compare those entry-level software developers' salary according to the old rules and new rules. It's clearly that the percentage of the growth based on the minimum wages increased around 30%. So what does this mean to a product manager? According to the Department of Labor, actually product manager getting paid really significantly differences based on what type of company you are employed. For example, according to my last video, the product managers getting paid between 80 grand to 300 grand, 300 grand more towards a fan company, 80 grand is more towards like a startups, a smaller type of companies. And however, I discovered that people do not get paid very well for this entry level position. According to the Department of Labor, if you're getting hired, for example, a company called Acorn, this is all public information, and they pay people on H1B for entry level product manager at rate of $66,000 per year. If you work for Google for this entry level product manager position, according to the Department of Labor, last time Google filed prevailing wage for people getting paid at $96,000. Thousand dollars. So therefore, in general, you are getting paid a little bit higher working for fan company at Google. Therefore, I recommend you to work for bigger fan companies so that you're able to get paid at a higher percentage. What if you're not able to get into like companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon? What should you do? That's something you need to pay close attention to. You need to use the right negotiation strategy to work with employers to come up with a compensation that really makes sense for you. And all the numbers show you earlier is all base salary, not the bonus. Are you able to change your bonus, wrap your bonus into a base salary so that your rate could be higher on the paper? That's something you need to negotiate with your employer as well. To learn how to negotiate higher salary, you can check out this video here. Number two, understand the timing of immigration policy and job hunting. First of all, for this immigration policy, it's not in effect right now. As we're speaking, it is being challenged in court and they won't make decision until 60 days later. On top of that, this specific policy only applies for people who are applying for new H1B or who want to do H1B extension. So therefore, if currently you are on H1B, I recommend you to wait until the policy is more clear. However, if you are a new grad who needs H1B or who are laid off recently, you have to get a job right now on H1B, then I recommend you to accelerate the process of getting a job on H1B as fast as possible because the policy is getting tighter and tighter and the election process can go up and down. We don't know how fast and how far this H1B policy is going to take into the next level. So therefore, speed up as soon as possible. If you also want to learn how I got my green card after 11 years, you check out this video right now. Number three, improve yourself and be better than your competition. 
This sounds so cliche, I know, I know. However, when you pay close attention into what other people are hiring and how to see it from the hiring manager's perspective like myself, I know exactly how decisions were made behind the scenes. If two candidates present in front of us, one on H1B, the other one not on H1B, but the person on H1B is definitely better than the other person, I will still hire people on H1B. So therefore, you need to focus on how can you improve yourself and show the employers you have unique skills, you can do the job better than other people who doesn't need the sponsorship. But how to show that you're better than others? I recommend all of you sincerely to improve your skills, such as English pronunciation skills. Check out the video here. I recommend top five strategy to improve it and improve your interview skills and also improve your 30 seconds elevator pitch to package your story to make them believe that you actually have unique capabilities. I also recommend everyone else to do something extra that people do not do. For example, I believe all of you guys need to focus on developing a product portfolio so that when you walk into interview, when you put things on your product manager resume, you can show others that you already have related experience, but developing a product portfolio takes time. That's why you need to take extra steps. And I also have a specific cheat sheet show you how can you build a product portfolio using a 13 different kind of project. You can download the uh, project list right here. Number four is to understand what specific fields are related to product management. According to this new rule, US bachelor or higher degree in direct related specific field needs to be a minimum requirement of entry into the specific occupation, which means whatever you study need to be related to product management. However, the very few major called product management major, right? So the other major that's so relevant and from the hiring manager's perspective, I believe they're very similar to product management and they should be considered as related field. There are several majors what I believe is very relevant, such as engineering disciplines based on the job descriptions, all of us asking for engineering related background and MBA is also very relevant to product management and UI UX designers, those are related to product design. I believe all those majors are very relevant to product management. If you're in those fields, I believe that what you study should be considered as related to product management. If you study any other major out of the three things I mentioned, please comment down below in this video. Let me know what you study and I can take a look, see if it's relevant to product management. Number five is try to look for a job in your client company if you currently work for a third party consulting company, such as Infosys or HCL there or like um, outsourcing company for software development related type of jobs. According to this new rule, if you work for those third party agency, your H1B can only last for one year instead of three years and plus another three years extension. So if you're currently working for those company, I recommend you guys to start looking into working for your client company as a full-time employee so that you take actions before your one year H1B start to run out. If you're still watching this video right now, I need to share with you the top referral product manager jobs. One of them is in California. You'll be a senior product manager working for the top 10 news as company in California. The other one is a fully remote entry level product manager position. If you're interested in any of those positions, please subscribe to my newsletter. I can send your resume to the hiring manager. Mock interview is also one of the good way to improve your chance of getting a job. So if you're looking for anyone to practice mock interviews with you, feel free to join my secret society where I have a group of aspiring product managers. We meet together to do mock interviews and discuss product manager interview questions and answers in this Facebook group and WeChat group. If you like what I've taught you so far, please smash the like button, subscribe to this YouTube videos, and check out more videos on my site. I'm looking forward to talking to you soon. This is Dr. Nancy. Bye.